In the world of Islamic history, Allah selected prophets to lead and caution their people. The honorable individuals conveyed important messages, including a serious reminder about the approaching Judgment Day. Today, we examine the lives of these prophets, exploring their warnings and the valuable lessons that we can learn from their teachings. When is the Day of the Judgment? Hazrat Muhammad faced numerous inquiries from various individuals regarding the timing of the Day of Judgment. Despite the remarkable progress humanity has made in various fields, including technology and science, the answer remains consistent. Only Allah possesses knowledge of the precise hour that marks the onset of the Day of Judgment. During an encounter with the angel Gabriel, who appeared in the form of a well-dressed man, one of the questions posed to Hazrat Muhammad was about the hour. In response, the Hazrat humbly acknowledged that the one inquiring possesses no knowledge regarding this matter than the questioner. Allah Almighty said about the time of occurrence of the Day of Judgment in Surah Al-Ahzab, verse number 63. People ask you concerning the hour. Say, knowledge of it is only with Allah, and what may make you perceive, perhaps the hour is near. He further elaborates in Surah Taha, verse number 15, Indeed, the hour is coming. I almost conceal it, so that every soul may be recompensed according to that for which it strives. Warnings of prophets of different errors to their respective ummah. Number 1. Hazrat Ibrahim Ibrahim shared a message with his people that were rooted in deep thinking and contemplation. He encouraged them to think about the signs of Allah in the world, seen in the sky and on the earth. With strong belief, he emphasized the day of resurrection, a day that will have eternal consequences for their actions. Hazrat Ibrahim's message reminds us to gain knowledge and recognize the signs of the Creator in our surroundings. It urges us to get ready for the day of judgment by living a good life and seeking Allah's pleasure. Number 2. Hazrat Nuh Hazrat Nuh played a significant role in history, as he tirelessly warned his people about the Day of Judgment. Despite facing mockery and disbelief, Hazrat Nuh persistently conveyed the message of repentance and returning to Allah. His people, absorbed by worldly pursuits, ignored his words until it was too late. Only a small group of believers listened and were saved from the Great Flood. Hazrat Noah's story teaches us the importance of patience, determination, and faith in speaking the truth, even when faced with difficulties. Number 3. Hazrat Musa Hazrat Musa confronted the oppressive pharaoh and his court, fearlessly warning them about the day when everyone would be accountable before Allah. Despite Pharaoh's arrogance and denial, Hazrat Musa persistently urged him to abandon oppression and submit to the will of the Highest. Hazrat Musa's struggle against tyranny highlights the significance of standing against injustice and oppression. On the Day of Judgment, worldly power and wealth hold no weight. His story teaches us the need to uphold justice and righteousness, even in the face of daunting challenges. Number 4. Hazrat Isa Hazrat Isa, known for his wisdom and compassion, also conveyed the message of the approaching Judgment Day to his people. He emphasized the importance of repentance, forgiveness, and love for Allah. Jesus taught his followers to strive for goodness and prepare for the Day of Judgment by leading a life of humility and kindness. His teachings remind us that our actions and intentions will be taken into account on the Day of Judgment. Number 5. Hazrat Muhammad, peace be upon him. Hazrat Muhammad, peace be upon him, the final messenger of Allah, dedicated his life to spreading the profound message of the Day of Judgment. Through the revelation of the Quran, he warned his people, the Ummah, and all of humanity about the consequences of their actions and the accountability they would face on the Day of Judgment. Hazrat Muhammad emphasized the importance of following Allah's guidance and leading a life of devotion and righteousness. His teachings provide a comprehensive guide for the Ummah, reminding us to strive for excellence and prepare ourselves for the inevitable Day of Reckoning. Hadiths related to the Day of Judgment When the Day of Judgment arrives and people find themselves in immense distress, having stood for a prolonged period enduring intense heat, fear and anguish, the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, poses a question to them. Imagine how you will feel when Allah gathers you all tightly together, like arrows in a quiver, for a period of 50,000 years, during which Allah will not look at you, Narrated by Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, the Hazrat Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, On the day of resurrection, people will be gathered, 
and the sun will draw near to them. People will be submerged in sweat according to their deeds, some up to their ankles, some up to their knees, some up to their waists, and some will be covered with it up to their mouths. This hadith highlights the intense nature of the Day of Judgment, where people will experience the consequences of their deeds through physical manifestations, such as being immersed in sweat according to their actions. It serves as a reminder of the accountability and recompense that awaits individuals on that momentous day. What does Qur'an say about the Day of Judgment? According to the teachings of Qur'an, a time will arrive when the entire universe will be annihilated and the concept of time itself will cease to exist. On this day, the deceased will be raised from their graves and brought before God for judgment. This momentous occasion marks the beginning of an eternal existence that knows no end. It's known as the Day of Judgment, during which individuals will receive their rewards or consequences from God, based on their faith and actions. Quran says that Allah will command on the Day of Judgment, Go and whoever you find with even a small amount of faith in their heart, bring them forward, and Allah will protect their bodies from the fire. So they will go, and some of them will find themselves sinking into the fire up to their feet or shins, but they will bring forth those whom they recognize. Abu Sa'id said, If you don't believe me, then read the verse, interpretation of the meaning. Indeed, Allah does not do injustice, even as much as an atom's weight, while if there is a good deed, he multiplies it and gives for himself a great reward. Allah Almighty has also manifestly explained the Day of Judgment in Surah Az-Zumar, verse number 67. They have not appraised Allah with true appraisal, while the earth entirely will be within his grip on the Day of Resurrection, and the heavens will be folded in his right hand. Exalted is he, and high above what they associate with him. The warnings of these Hazrats, Hazrat Nuh, Hazrat Ibrahim, Hazrat Musa, Hazrat Isa, Hazrat Muhammad, peace be upon him, and countless others echo through the corridors of time, reminding us of the day of judgment when all deeds will be accounted for. The messages they convey hold eternal importance, encouraging us to contemplate, seek forgiveness, and strive for goodness. In a world filled with distractions and the pursuit of fleeting joys, their teachings act as a reminder, awakening us to the ultimate truth and the reason for our existence. Let us pay attention to their admonitions, strengthen our faith and ready ourselves for the day when we shall stand before Allah with our actions laid bare. So that's it for now. To gain further knowledge about Islam and its teachings, ensure to maintain a connection with our channel.